but after a while. What, so what kind yeah. of stories do you like telling with like through your photography and your photos? Um, I love to, to tell about society. I love to tell about um, personal stories. I love personal stories so much. What's mm -hmm. like, what, what's your issue? What's going on with you? So um, I keep follow like two or three people to keep following them and see the most interesting. If they are all of them have interesting uh, story, I will follow three of them. If like one or two or one, uh, I will just definitely like just focus on only one and we'll just, just dive deep inside. So this is like you're you're just randomly walking around the streets and then you just like observing what's around you and then if no 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 for for for, uh, for streets that it's like kind of um daily life and okay. um, and uh, street photography but if i find someone very very interesting yeah i would maybe like he have store or just selling something or just walking and stay, staying in place and every day i found him in the same place no i have to come back and mm. why are you saying every day what are you going i start to be curious because i see you every day i just I, 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 I have to be like so clear that i move from here every day and i found you here so what what are you doing um, what's your story tell me talk with me i don't i don't shoot in this uh, this in the beginning i just listen talk a lot and like like you are friends that start to know someone and you mm -hmm. become friends so you have to start to talk with him and know what's going on with him and, and keep and keep and make the circle of trust first so After what the circle of yeah yeah okay. so what what inspires you to be curious about individual people the people themselves, themselves. <laughs> like what's what's so what do you, what do you find like most interesting about like people's lives in a way for, for me um the people the people lives that is the live the, the lifestyle um the reactions uh, the action the um if they have some some work, some like specific work, and it's not familiar for here, mm -hmm. so yeah, I would love to to like I was have that in in Abar Egypt, uh, in village uh, very close from my village, and I was there with uh, uh, colleagues of photographers, and we are document that place. So before I go, they told us that this place is like that. So I said, oh, oh wait wait, what's what's uh, going on with this uh, man? It's a very old man, and I have a very old place. And I start to be curious. So I, I said that when we go there, I just want to stay with this man. And actually, when I, I take portraits for him, and this portrait win a contest in, in Egypt here, really. So it, it was it was like the first place of, of portraits here in Egypt. So it was nice for me that, and the way his work, and his was very, very funny, old man. Uh, also, I was... Um, I love sometimes I, I like to document what's what is the area that I'm staying. Like I, I love to go to this city called Dahab. It's by the Red Sea. So I like to stay in a place and we'll find uh, uh, in, in my Instagram also that pictures that showing that the sea and the mountain. This my the, the area that I love to stay. What's it, what's it called? It's Dahab. It's across from Sharm el Sheikh. If you look, you see Sharm el Sheikh after Sharm el Sheikh, like very, very close. So, this area that when I want to have like relax or something, so I stay there and in front of the sea and see people like swimming. Uh, a young kid playing with the dog, um, man play with his son, uh friend is staying together in the water and playing in the water uh some people doing kike uh, what else um... oh so this is uh this isn't in egypt it's in like saudi arabia no no it's in egypt 
Okay. So it's, but but we are it's it's very close from Saudi Arabia because oh I see. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I see where it is now. Yeah. So so yeah so I stay there that and I say I I take my time swimming and under the sun, and then my camera my camera is like my girlfriend. So I stay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I, I'm single, so I, this is my girlfriend actually. Yeah. <laughs> so I, so I stay, and just the camera and just taking around me what people doing around me, this kind of like document the place that I I yeah. I am there, I am staying there. So, and it, it it gives me nice pictures. Really. Isn't it cool? Something I love about photography is that it's like it's like a moment in time like in the human experience in the world it's you know and there's not this moment again you know it's yeah, just like yeah. right here this is 2021 on this day and this person was here in this landscape it's so fascinating yeah, it's, 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 um i uh, for, for me that uh photography is built in on um, on moments yeah. Each moment that we take, make our photography, make the archives, make the history, make the everything, make it changes. Even sometimes that I know photographer, which is he's very nice photographer and well known because he around the world. With his photographs, he made a change to to many people. He he helped a lot of people with his photographs. Mm. He made um. Uh, a page uh, and uh, or, or organizers uh, called everyday ravages he helped all ravages around the world and captures them and, and get a right. lot of helps from them and he made a lot of changes for them so photography can change can help a lot of people really yeah you can move people yeah 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 really make a lot of changes make a lot of booming things yeah 